right, well, you... Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the pod! <laughs> what is it? Are you going to introduce? Like, that'll be a yes. Is that the pod? The strength studio. La, la, I just remember la, 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 the mic is on you. <laughs> we don't have an intro yet. So I'm just going to, for every episode, cut that bit and be like... <laughs> <laughs> like, welcome to the strength studio. Where, stop breaking shit. You've had five <laughs> minutes in the chair. This chair's not big enough. <laughs> Do you want to stop that? No. Okay. We could have just done it on the sofa. Yeah. No. Okay. We're here now. <laughs> this is it. I can now tell how uncomfortable everyone else is just because that seat's higher up and yeah. it does feel like hierarchy. Uh, you didn't introduce the rest of the episode. What are we talking about today? We're talking about gym X and powerlifting X <laughs> and client coach relationship is. what i think because after having a conversation with alexia the, the other day yeah. when it's really evident some people doesn't don't know what, don't know what means, means we were like telling ick and she just named people <laughs> and things she hated and i was like not an ick that's Nick. trauma <laughs> icks are like really irrational reasons why you wouldn't like somebody that's what i describe as i'm gonna give lucy's one as an example <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it was instant quick of being like um yeah things in a guy and she was like when you push a push door open but the wind blows it closed on you straight away <laughs> that guy's weaker than the weather <laughs> like, well that's brutal or rachel's i like rachel's one <laughs> the um when he gets out of a swim comes up <laughs> under the water in a swimming pool and just wet hair clinging to his face like a cobweb and you come up and it's like <gasps> the gasp the gasp of the hair this last time we did one of these people were like you two were just having fun the whole time like yeah so we thought we'd double down yeah. um <laughs> i'd be like let's not try there's, and be there's not going to be any more information on this one i've just realized another ick based on that as well is like walking someone who like gets a bit of cobweb on them and just keeps doing that shit <laughs> just like slapping their face <laughs> sorry sorry so, sorry <laughs> sorry more than once in a row that's yeah. an ick <laughs> this is becoming a thing yeah people that profusely apologize for like, like everything shut up my <laughs> be sorry to yourself <laughs> yeah. my um my mate james who would not mind me saying so like if anyone ever this is such a tangent <laughs> if anyone ever goes on drugs yeah. they normally like oh it, it makes people really aggressive it doesn't it brings out what you are much yeah. more so so the aggressive people were dicks anyway mm. James is a soft bastard. So when he, he goes on and he's just like, oh, I'm really sorry, I'm sorry I'm in your way. I'm like, I literally was in your way. I'm mad at you for not yeah. being mad at me now. And we were, just, just, just shut the fuck up. Just be sorry on your own. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> so powerlifting so, drugs. Gym um. <laughs> oh, please don't ban me from more feds. So, so gym X, powerlifting X. Yeah. Are we doing like coaching X or something mm. within the- Within the- <laughs> Immediate panic. Mm, Callum, look. I quite like my clients. Uh, it's not like you, but... No, fuck them. Because they're the only ones listening to this. It's like yeah. our client base will yeah. be on this episode. And I'm like, call them out. Yeah. For their shit. Tell them. Tell, tell them the problems you have with them. Yeah, indirectly. Okay, so what do you want to start with? Um, I reckon general gym X and we'll like go into it. Can I go straight away with just like ones that come yeah. to the top of mind? Of like yeah. the dude that walks around with no socks on. Oh. Like not even no shoes. I'll tolerate no yeah. shoes being like... And I've, and I've been explained the science behind not wearing shoes. Like, hit me with the science. Because <laughs> I, I know you retained remember. every bit of that. I went, yay, and walked off. <laughs> That's such a you. <laughs> yay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's to do with shoes, like, change the way your feet are. They, like, narrow your feet and it's not yes. good for you. And they're like, um, have you tried flippers? <laughs> being like, wide as fuck like, foot. Literally. Is that banned in the IPA? Can you wear, if I turn up in flippers? <laughs> what, like diving Yeah, ones? diving <laughs> flippers. I'd have the biggest base for <laughs> yeah. any lift ever. <sighs> oh, oh, the problem, when we laugh, both of us do the same type of laugh, which is silence. silence. <laughs> and they're going like, they did not enjoy that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so yeah, barefoot. Barefoot, yeah, no. There's no excuse. There was a guy at my old gym that used to leg press barefoot. Oh. Oh, Do they God. wipe the platform down? No. Oh, it's fucking minging. Yeah, like just wandering around. Like, isn't it bad enough in socks? I want to know if they, they came in socks because I think there's a level of worse to that. Like, if they turned up shoes, socks, and their feet, they brought they brought they brought those. <laughs> yeah, they were with them. <laughs> Forgot them one day. Um, but if you go shoes and feet, mm. I think I'm more forgiving that you took the shoes off and went barefoot than I am if you took socks off and then I still want to get them dirty. I'm like, get your fucking socks on. Yeah. Keep or I'll shove it down your throat. <laughs> There's a dude who walks around our gym just barefoot and just does other exercises. 
He's doing like a lap pull down with like no socks no. on. I'm like, grounding technique. Yeah. I need to feel the ground. <laughs> and then deadlift. <laughs> I just want to, if you're watching this and you don't have the video on, you're going to have the worst episode of your yeah, life. Please go to YouTube, watch the video. This is not going to be on Spotify a... as well. Okay. The 4K okay. thing will be on this. This is not going to be an it, audio episode. fucking lazy. I just had a panic. It wasn't even recording. Yeah. If you're in your car, stop. <laughs> yeah, so pull over, ruin your day, and yeah. watch the next 45 minutes or so of trauma. Um, <laughs> okay, so no I've socks. got one. <laughs> this came to my head the other day. If somebody is trying, a man trying to get your attention in the gym, or somebody's attention in the gym, and they tap you as you walk away, and they're just like batting the air, <laughs> they've been like ignored. I can, so if they miss, I couldn't see that. I couldn't witness that. I genuinely <laughs> I would just, I feel like I would just ruined my day for making me watch. I just that could not happen. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's right. So that's a general ick for me. <laughs> it's the like you know when someone's like you're driving, you go to park. Yeah. Someone's coming out, and across the silence <laughs> of fucking windows, you go. You go. <laughs> Why are you whispering? Yeah, yeah. Are you going? Because it doesn't matter the volume. Because they can't fucking hear you anyway. But when you're in yeah. the car with that person, mm. they're like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same when someone's got headphones yeah. in. Like, <laughs> this is ASMR now. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I can't yeah. do the feigned. Sorry. Excuse me. I was like, oi, dickhead. <laughs> Are you still going or not? Leave. <laughs> oh, deeply uncomfortable. Yeah. I think the guys. So I have a real big gimmick, which mm. is the D handle on a lap pull down <laughs> handle. Over the. Yeah, I'm like this K next Lego <laughs> motherfucker who's like, I don't like your machine, so I'm going to make it better by yeah. breaking your equipment. <laughs> I'm like, please, <laughs> please get stop. the fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> stop playing yeah. with shit. <laughs> It's normally like they'll say they'll put a D handle on a single arm pull down or on a lap pull down. They're like, it's just better connection. I'm like, you're three foot five <laughs> and you weigh thirty kilos. Just fucking lift for a bit. You're fine. Yeah. No, no, I need to connect with it better. I'm like, I need to connect with your fucking jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad about this. So angry. I don't need. I'm gonna lay down like it's therapy. <laughs> like, I just want to talk about my problems in the gym. I think they're my initial ones. Otherwise. Should people being in the gym? Get <laughs> other people. Just don't like people being around. Yeah. Or what about people who make an ungodly amount of eye contact with you while you squat or while you lift? It's it's the lap pull down and the cable row. Are they back to being, back on yours? Oh, being like oh. facing each other. So You've then like... somebody's like this. <laughs> and you're like this. <laughs> Feeling violated by the gym. Yeah. Like... <laughs> and feels... literally you're like... <laughs> I've never looked at the ceiling. I was doing that one out so much. Like, so, just don't look at him. Don't. It's the worst. It's so uncomfortable. Because I think if you make eye contact at that point, you have to date. <laughs> like, we're yeah, now in like, a relationship. That counts date. as a first date. That's more intimate than some of the dates I've had. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've bonded yeah. under a really uncomfortable moment. Yeah. Also, I did a podcast with Rach the mm -hmm. other day. And we both had our foot on the table, and I realised when they watch that episode, it's a lot of feet. <laughs> Great. And every time I put my foot up, I'm like, is that in shot? Oh, it fucking is. <laughs> it, lovely. Ick. Um, yeah. Toes in general, ick. I think people are well too weird about that. Slightly humid feet, that's an ick. Oh, yeah, God. See, that's yeah. an ick. But a dry foot that just is a fine foot. No, I, I like, cannot. Like, even like. <laughs> Like really you're not about my feet being up No, there. it's like bare feet. Right. If a bare foot was touching me, oh god, <laughs> I just I'd die. I would die. Even like when my nephews like running around the garden barefoot, if their feet come near me, grunts each other's Get your How feet away from me, like two and four. <laughs> I really hope that someone's gone to this and like, oh, I've wanted to know more about what like Cleo's been up to in her journey and we're like, I'll kill that two-year-old. <laughs> okay, Jim, Jim X. Jim, Jim X. Um, <sighs> what about that guy that supersets with like 19 different things at once? Oh my God, he's halfway across the gym. You, you know go on to the, <laughs> You go on to the equipment and then he's like, using that. <laughs> like, how? how? You couldn't get here before I finish my set. <laughs> Well, they've just got like six sets of dumbbells around them. And what pisses me off, like I get people do drop sets and stuff mm. still because programming's hard. But <laughs> if you're looking and they're like, oh, so I'm using all of these. I'm like, yeah. they're 2.5 kilos apart. Even if you're doing a drop set, that's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm doing 20 for three and then I'll do 18 for one. I'm like, why? Drop more, leave the dump. I'm just mad at everyone. Yeah. I'm just noticing how quickly we're just going to rage about stuff. Yeah. 
What was I was saying the other day, I mean, like, why is it the anti X, which apparently is just turn ons? I don't want gym turn ons as a thing where we're like, people think we're walking around the gym like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have the anti ones. I just have X. Of yeah, things. we try to go for like anti X. There's none. We don't Nothing. like anything about anybody except the person that you go up and like. Have you got any sets left? And they're like, you can work in if you want. I like that guy. Yeah, but I'll never do that. Why? Unless I know you, I will never work in with you <laughs> <laughs> ever. I'd rather wait. Right. So that I think because I've noticed that with with Rach, with Alice, with Shannon, with you, yeah. of being like, oh, it's just, oh wait, I'm yeah. like, you lose so much time, just work no, in. I don't want to sit on your smelly butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> Stop sitting on people when they're trying to leg press. You're the problem. <laughs> okay, it clear in the gym. <laughs> sitting on members of the gym. I was gonna say sitting on members. <laughs> This was never going to go right. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, I'd rather, like, and also I think if people ask me if they can work in, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I actually had a fallout with a guy in our gym the yeah. other day where I went up and I was like, do you have any sets left? And yeah. I'm always really polite about mm. it because everyone has their space. Fucking don't kill me. Um, but I went up to this guy and I was like, do you have any sets left? And he was like, I need 10 minutes. And I was like, that's not a number of sets. <laughs> like, what a weird response. Mm. And I was like, oh no, but could I work in between your sets? And he was like, I just need 10 minutes. And I was like, I've watched you on your phone for the last three minutes. Yeah. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you're still on your phone. Yeah. So, and then he was like, just 10. So I walked away and I timed him. And I came back after 10 minutes and went, you're done. And he was like, I've got two more sets. I was like, fucking how? Yeah. Like, how long do you that need on I this? That I understand. And also, if somebody asks me, like, how long have you got left? I will not sit there on my phone. I will, like, get shit done. But I'm just not, I don't want to work in with you. It takes more time. What shit are you getting done? <laughs> I'm lap all down it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, like, it's a leg day. You need to leg press. And you're like, oh, I'll just do other things. Yeah. It's fine. Literally, I will just wait. I just I can't I'm be bothered to be that. in it. leg press. You want to work in with somebody on a leg press? Unless you're working in with Rach, you're taking off all those plates and, and putting them back only on. Again. Rach is the example. <laughs> yeah. That bitch out leg presses me by a mile. It's insane. Okay, I did leg press yesterday. I'm really proud of this. I did four <laughs> sets of twelve at wow. fifty kilos. Wow. And she did twelves at two hundred. Yeah. And I hurt, and she's fine. So that's even an inconvenience because you I'm, have to take all the plates and off. Also I think I became the ick because yeah. it was like taking off four plates for your boyfriend. <laughs> I outscored you, nick. shut up. <laughs> That's As Rach, I'd be like, you're not working with me. <laughs> Where you do can you... do that embarrassment somewhere else. <laughs> Take your single life to be <laughs> shit elsewhere. Yeah. Where do you, right, whole, this is the whole topic. Mm. Tripods, cameras, filming in the gym. Um, genuinely don't care. Like, if you have a tripod, go do it, have fun. I just <laughs> sick of fuck <laughs> Like, um, yeah, don't so get angry at people walking in front of you. Yeah, they're there as much as you should be. So that's like, as a, I've got so many clips on my um, phone of people walking in front of me going, so sorry, I'm like, it's absolutely fine. Do not worry. Like, it's okay. And okay, they walked in front of one rep of your 12 reps of your cable row. Like, nobody gives a oh, fuck. Oh, especially a cable row. If yeah. it's an accessory, if someone walks in the way, I would be, and someone kicked off, I'd be like, yeah. you're not even doing anything interesting. If it's my top set, I will let somebody know. So if somebody's working right next to me, I will just say, this is my top set. I'd just appreciate if you just let me film this a second. Yeah. If they're like, no, I'll move my camera and cry. Um, <laughs> and leave the gym immediately and never come back to that yeah. place. And that'll be it. But I will always just let somebody know and just be like, this is important. Just give me two seconds and I'll be back. So I stand on the line of like, the only nuance, the only little bit is, if I'm filming, obviously, like you, mm. you deserve to be in the gym, walk wherever, I don't give a fuck. But if it's really fucking obvious and you walk dangerously close to me, yeah. Because I had a young lad walk straight into my bar, so I had one forty on my back. I was warming up. <laughs> Just clarifying, I'm strong, okay? Um, flex. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I feel disgusted too. It's fine. <laughs> he walked straight into the bar and spanned me to the back of the rack. And I don't mean like a oh he knocked me. I mean he fucking spanned me out. <laughs> and I racked it fast and then had a moment of like count to five because yeah, I was going to throttle this child. <laughs> um, you go two year olds. I was going to kill a fourteen year old. It's fine. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm bringing it's just that back up. We can take on. <laughs> like you can, you can take out the toddlers. Yeah. I'll handle like killing the teens. Adolescents. Yeah. I'm bringing rage for the adults. <laughs> <laughs> this episode, when I'm looking for like a snippet, yeah, that's the bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, the clip. You kill the two-year-olds. <laughs> but yeah, like when people like just in general, obviously walk wherever. But fuck me, people walk so close to yeah. you. And the camera, I think, is probably irrelevant at this mm. point. I'm just like. I've had someone walk where you are in front of me and stop and look at me mid-set and I'm like, 
we're not going to chat right now. <laughs> this, this is, this is, is not, a weird, not, not a good time. <laughs> not a good me. time for me. Come back in like yeah. nine seconds and I'll be done with my one rep. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you've got your camera. Like if yeah. people are walking in front of that, I'm like, it's a point. <laughs> It's not discreet. It's, yeah, Have you it's seen a this massive thing? tripod. Like, if people are walking in front of phones or makeshift tripods, yeah, yeah, whatever, like, they're down low. But if you're walking in front of that, then. You probably knew it was there. Yeah. Like, and you're doing it on purpose. This is small dick energy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm making myself seen. Yeah. It's the ones I do get, like, I see people. Is it Joey Swole that does all the, like, all right, calm down, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is like, there'll be a phone that's in the corner of a room mm. and it's pitch black and it's, like, hidden. And it's something like, you walked in front of a camera, I'm like, I couldn't fucking see <laughs> that. Turn the flash on. Yeah. <laughs> like, have that beaming in the corner and then I won't walk in yeah, front of it. Yeah, and everyone would be like, cool. And then tripods in the gym, I'm like, it's fine. Just depends where you put it. Yeah. Like, you put it against someone else's kit while you're trying to lift. I'm like, that's a bit shit. Also, uh, this is just such a tangent, but Always the amount of people is. that don't know that that middle part of the tripod exists. Yeah, that goes up and down. That goes up and People just have all the legs out. <laughs> you like, can just have the first leg out and then just the top <laughs> bit that comes so that's it a, a tiny camera and the tripod <laughs> is like this this dude has a tripod like the size of a small car yeah. and it's being like just the fucking GoPro on the top or yeah. like glue it to something just, I don't honestly, care just stick it to your forehead it'll be fine <laughs> that's the footage we want the POV of a squat you can't see what they're doing you just see the floor up and down <laughs> was it an RP6? <laughs> what RP is this? just see that <laughs> First person shaky. It's the Francis <laughs> Oh god, no one's gonna know what's happening. What's this been the most confusing episode that we've ever put out? Um, we've only done three X. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> the sockless uh, man tripod. Have you ever seen someone with a single tripod, by the way? Like just a one pole. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't even have the little at the very It's just got a flat base. No. That's an egg. <laughs> I, well, I never. <laughs> it was the way you said no. So Britishly offended. No. 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 Oh, you talk to your mother with that man? <laughs> single pole? Not in my eyes. <laughs> okay, gym X. I've got a powerlifting specific ick. Go. Okay. Single it without t shirt. I hate it. So, any lift? Any lift. So deadlift included? Yep, 100%. You are going to split the crowd here. I genuinely don't care. It looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you've got t-shirt tan. Like, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Keep the t-shirt on. I remember the year it changed. Yeah. And every bloke got so butt hurt. And then every woman put every man in a weird situation where they were like, well, then we should wear no t-shirts. And everyone <laughs> wants to be like, it'll come out. <laughs> and they were like, and no man no, knew how to address the topic, so every man went, we'll just leave this alone. And there, everyone just kind of agreed, like, okay, t shirts to be worn, done. Mm. And everyone still got mad about it. And then everyone in like GPC, I think it's GPC and BPU, you can still no t shirt yeah. it. And I don't get the win of being I like, don't, I don't. Because you don't train like that. No. Like, it's not comfortable in the fucking slightest. No. Also, singlet material is horrible. Like, thin as fuck. Thin as fuck. Itchy seams. You don't want that. And like, you're gonna be chafing. I also, <laughs> oh god, I've got this chafy, sweaty man image in my head. Anyway, yeah. Um, but one of the things as well, minutia, and this is me being overly logical, is you wore a belt with t-shirt and singlet, so it felt a certain way. Yeah. And now you take it off, and like, well, there's less of a brace. Yeah. Feel shit. I've been too logical. It's also disgusting. <laughs> Ick. People that take things too seriously. Ick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone who's offended by this episode is going to be following like, some serious episodes. I keep wheezing when I laugh. <laughs> Turned into the dog. People are going to listen to this being like, I think the audio's fucked up. Like, that's how she breathes. Yeah, it's just me. Jesus Christ. You know that thing from Toy Story? That. Yeah, the, the penguin. <laughs> yeah. You're that wheezy penguin. I'm the penguin. wheezy penguin, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Um, other powerlifting specific ones I had. <laughs> XYZ. <laughs> At lockout. At lockout. <laughs> yeah. Anything at lockout. Yeah, just pull it if you can. If you can. I think that's the caveat is yeah. you couldn't, which yes. is why it's at lockout. So. Because like I'm anti. What like, you mean is you can't. <laughs> <laughs> at floor fail. At lockout, other numbers. <laughs> Somebody gave you it. <laughs> I can pass you shit and be like, at lockout, you've got my deadlift. <laughs> like, next time, I'm going to deadlift like 220 to pass it to you. Yeah. <laughs> pass it to you. That's going to be fucking chaos. <laughs> just like one hand at a time. Like, <laughs> 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 but, but I do think, if 
they've not got a video on. This is a hard to watch episode. Yeah. There's so many visuals. But the, um, yeah, I'm um, anti chains, anti bands. Yeah. Which, like, I just, there's too much study to show it doesn't have a carryover. Mm -hmm. Every now and again, I bring this back to, like, seriously, like, yeah. let's talk about programming yeah, things. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. I mean, because <laughs> there is literally no need to do it. Yeah. Um, unless you're equipped or using drugs. Yeah. That is the whole range. Shut the fuck up. If that, like, if you're anyone else, you shouldn't be doing it. Mm -hmm. So when someone is like, at lockout, is this? That's the weirdest fucking... It's like block press. Being like, oh, well, it was this at lockout. And I'm like, yeah, you didn't get near your fucking chest. <laughs> Sorry, it's not the last thing we spoke about the other day. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> the baby at lockout. <laughs> You're going to have to explain this. Because our viewers deserve better. <laughs> uh, we were talking about how incredible... Um, I can't remember her She's name. Lucy. I can't Lucy, remember her last name. Um, who... Lift. She literally competed while she was pregnant. She is incredible. Mm. And she was talking about how much more difficult it's been this way around with her third child. Yeah. Um, recovering, getting back into training. And then she literally trains when her baby's asleep. So she gets probably max about 40 minutes of training. Um, and then she benched. And then she managed to do some... It was dips that she had the baby hanging off the front she of her. She had the baby in her carrier. And she was like, unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were like... Well, you could. She was like, I can't bench. We were like, you could block press. Um, <laughs> not saying anything about it. Everyone's not putting their image together. What Cleo is saying <laughs> is you could have the baby on your chest and you could use it as a block <laughs> when you're pressing. This isn't serious. Can we have a disclaimer at the start of this video? Oh, fuck no. I want to see how much damage we can do to you. <laughs> we're like, we're going to end this episode. I'm only at the start of my career. <laughs> I'm so, I'm she was so, so young. young. <laughs> she was so young. <laughs> I think that might uh, be the most horrific thing you've ever said. Yeah, probably, yeah. I'm proud of you. It's only since I've known you. It's just got... Oh, yeah, now it's my fault again. And also it's this. It's not this. Everything's getting better. <laughs> it's an uphill climb of turmoil and trauma. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so I have a lot. But this one, I think, is just a, a lift of being angry. Because in all capitals, it just says long femurs. Being like... Okay, squats are hard, I guess. Yeah, it. yeah, it's fine. Just be better. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I see someone with long femurs. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> because my girlfriend has them. <laughs> I mean, she just walks through the house and I'm like, oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> that sounds uh, so mean. Just... And I mean it. <laughs> uh, the obsession with eating jellies during training, despite not training particularly hard. Sweets and food in the gym. Yeah. I will kind of... <laughs> Or a snake. <laughs> what did you want to say? No, I was going to say sweets. I don't know why. Just so you can say, you. say sweets. Cool. Yeah, yeah sweets. <laughs> um, I do think it's massively overdone. And oh, this yeah. is where the stereotype of unhealthy athletes come from. Yeah. Powerlifters. For what we were called <laughs> and I went for athletes. That's why people think we're just fat and lazy. Because yeah. you bring a whole packet of sweets to the gym and you're like, I need the sugar. I'm like, you did a single at five, <laughs> and you did okay. two by five. Yeah, and you're you done. had a meal <laughs> you, you, 45 you know minutes how, ago. Yeah, you ate before you yeah. came here? Yeah. Like, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I get it if it's like emergency, coming home from work, haven't eaten a lot, going to get trained, mm. have like a packet of sweets. Yeah, the mini light. The little yeah. mini ones or whatever, or a few, but like if you're going through a, a fun size bag, bag Like 600 every calories session, worth of training. You're probably doing something wrong you're probably in the wrong sport yeah like if you think you need that much to get through yeah, the session competitive eating is a thing right <laughs> <laughs> let me try just doing that like quit the Take gym away the we gym. both know the gym but it's not why you're here yeah. <laughs> like, you came here for the squashies and to be honest you don't have to do the gym to get those <laughs> yeah i don't know if you know this but you can buy those without having a membership <laughs> in <laughs> i do yeah i'm like Glucose in training, yes, there's evidence. And I guarantee there's always one person who gets real mad about fucking anything. Yeah. And they'll be like, well, actually, there's science. I'm like, there is, about glucose. Yeah. I'm talking about tangfastics, you fucking melon. <laughs> yeah. And I get the sugar, I get the science, but just don't devour three bags of tangfastics. <laughs> because you, you did an RP sing six single. I've got um, loading up the leg press for one eighth of a rep and then posting it online. Oh, God. I would say leg press as a whole is a dangerously ick kind of area. So like I'll lo loading it with calibrated plates, yeah. wearing knee wraps while using leg oh, press, wraps are an leaving ick. plates on the leg press, doing no range of motion on the leg press, or putting leg press in your bio, because I've seen that. <laughs> That's another one. Putting, I'm sorry to everybody, because I know a few people that do it. I know that there are definitely people listening to this yeah, that do Yeah, and this. please don't be offended, but... But it's about you. It's, <laughs> this is directly at you. Um, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> no. The lifts in the bio thing. So weird. It's, I just can't get on with it. I just don't understand what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. Because you have to be dangerously confident in your lifts to think that that's the first thing I want to know about you. Yeah. And you also have to think so and little also, of me to think I care. Yeah, literally. And also, you're putting, you're valuing yourself off of that. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, I didn't go to, I've, I follow next to no people because they're strong. Mm. Like, strong is actually mm. not that interesting no. to me because there's fucking loads of us. Mm. Us. <laughs> I put myself under the category. Did you notice that as a sly? Um, but, like, it's just, I follow you because of who you are as a person, what your content's like. Yeah. Being like, I don't care that you've got a 130 squat and give a shit. Yeah. Also, if you're a powerlifter and I actually follow your Instagram, good on you, girl, because I hate powerlifting content. It is the <laughs> worst type of content. It is boring and it is the same. It takes maybe a month to finish powerlifting content where you're like, yeah. I'm done watching squat bench deadlift. I hate posting my powerlifting. Posting my this powerlifting. British bitch is slipping out every now and, every and, now and again. Every now and again. I hate posting. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I just like it's hard to po like I don't post any of my lifting and I try to remind my athletes that they should like they should indulge in yeah, yeah, yeah. really take Being pride in proud it. of it but I'm like it's fucking boring in to an watch. interesting way <laughs> yeah try to find a way to make it interesting because also I'm trying to stay on top of my own content mm. and I'm 11 years of powerlifting ask me why I don't post my squat I'm like because I've seen it <laughs> thousands so of times I don't even watch my own lifting yeah. like I'll see Rach post something and then watch it on her story of her own lifting. Oh, I did that I today. I've like, watched my story so many times. Yeah. Ick. Ick. <laughs> <laughs> but like she'll, she'll watch her own lift and I love the pride she has. Mm. I'll watch my lifting and be like, I just don't care. Yeah. I did it. I was there. I don't need to see it again. True, yeah. All my athletes, I love that you send me your videos though. I enjoy your hype. Yeah. I just Please don't enjoy film. it. Please for... post. Be proud. But make, maybe make it a little bit interesting. <laughs> like so. when you posted a deadlift, you posted three at once and it wasn't even a full rep. You were just like, yeah. over. Over. Done. Everyone run away. <laughs> Where's this? Oh, it's my one. Okay, here's a big one. And this counts as a client ick, but lifting ick as a whole. Mm. Blaming Miss Groove for overshooting. Oh. And being like, you weren't strong enough. And being like, oh, it's just it Miss Groove off the chest. I'm it like, would have been a six. That's because you're without not strong in that bit. <laughs> like that bit is hard for you. Yeah. You're bad. And if at you're Miss Grooving every single <laughs> <laughs> every single like, time, it's not just a Miss Groove, it's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you're not doing it bad wrong. at it. Yeah. <laughs> I Miss Groove my single at six for the ninth week in a row. I'm like, first of all, who gave you singles at six for nine weeks? <laughs> but also, <Change> code. <laughs> yeah, first problem. Second problem, it's not a Miss Groove. It's a single at eight that you're doing every <laughs> yeah. fucking week. The word misgroove is the weirdest statement because it's like, no, you know how you have a compensation system where you're mm. shifting to the least resistance? You weren't strong enough here, so yeah. you moved there. That's yeah. not misgrooving. That's not being strong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone's going to message me being like, is this at me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who it could be. I don't think my lifters would dare say to me, I just misgrooved. I'm like, you fucking didn't. <laughs> um, I've got... Okay, I've got people, okay, there's context for this. People walking over your platform mid-lift, but that comes from a girl who does ollie lifting. So when she lifts above her head, oh, it's like stay away. Obviously, yeah. if you're just like clipping the corner of a platform, there's a lot of room. But if you're lifting shit above your head, maybe don't go near the person that's doing that because if they drop it, you're in the line of fire. <laughs> and also like there are times where there is a bit of me that's like, if that bar hits you, good yeah you'll learn you're, fucking it's your quickly problem. because there's like that bar doesn't i think in people's minds they're like oh it's going up it goes down i'm like it bounces dickhead like it will move yeah. across the platform i'm bad at lifting it will fucking move across the platform my deadlift i've had people step over the end of the bar and i'm like i don't <laughs> that face is so oh my god oh my god not even just anybody's deadlift <laughs> i will pull the it fear. but also they step over it i've never pulled a bar so fast in my life where i'm like i'm taking your testicles with this <laughs> <laughs> like you'll never do this again because you also can't have children because of this and I want yeah. that to be the reminder yeah. being like oh, I'd love to have kids with you one day I can't why because I'm the dickhead that stepped <laughs> over a platform while someone was deadlifting life lesson yeah <laughs> don't do that um excessive grunting on warming up oh my god oh my god same thing oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> this is at you by the way <laughs> uh, before you lift going ah 
Ah, just so everybody can watch you. Yeah, like, to be fair, sharp. I deserve an audience. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, mine is drama. <laughs> I did, to be fair, even uh, one of my clients, I won't name him because this is not an app for anyone, but I literally <laughs> was like, the shouty thing normally degrades your ability to brace and focus. Yeah. Like, so there's, oh, I'm going to root this in science. Mm. There, so there's uh, arousal theory and there's um, anxiety theory within that, which is like, the higher state of arousal, unless you're really skilled, you're pushing out other information. Yeah. So if you've got like three things you're focusing on and you get really hyped, you can only focus on one. You've dropped other stuff. Yeah. So most of the time I'm like, shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Mine focus. is because I am perpetually tired <laughs> and I don't care enough. And I'm like, be mad, be as mad as you possibly can. <laughs> now lift that thing. Yeah. I will say like, any, if it's not a fucking heavy single and you really need that state, shut up. Yeah. Absolutely shut up. Shut up. Single at five. Be a, although I will say there's one person who does it and I'm like, I would never argue with you. Dylan Nelson. Yeah. I because would. I watched him do a single at <laughs> yeah. 180. The dude's got a 300 kilo squat and he was just like, ah! and I'm like, you do you do. Like, you're you carry so on. sick. You, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. You're in your own lane, boy. I know this man doesn't watch this podcast. But yeah. He does. I've hyped him like four times on this. I wish one day. <laughs> just to know that I respect you. I don't know you. But... <laughs> using spotters and side spotters when there are safeties but you don't have the safeties up oh there's so much within this topic where i'm like use your fucking safeties use your if fucking you get safeties. injured and you don't have safeties on good mm. because like learn if you and ask you... me to spot you and you haven't got your safeties on i will drop it i will just not spot you yeah because like... you're gonna injure me as well oh there was a dude right i spotted a guy mm. and like i know gym bro training is very different and gym yeah. bro can be bodybuilders whatever <laughs> like that field <laughs> the people that train too hard <laughs> but this dude was like right i'm gonna go for six reps mm. the first rep he nearly grinded to death and i was like five <laughs> more and then he did got halfway up the second he went just help me get the rest and i racked it and he was like i need you to do four more and i was like you needed to be stronger then because <laughs> you can't do four more yeah. and i'm not here to train my fucking upper back so yeah. you can get your sets yeah, out i'm not upright rowing what your bed what's wrong with you but like the, so there's two sides of spotters where I'm like, I completely agree. You haven't got your safeties up. What the fuck are you playing at? Yeah. Just set out properly. The other end is when you have a five person spotting crew for like your single five or your set of five. I'm like, <laughs> if it's that hard, don't do it. <laughs> so I'm like, you're pushing you're, way too yeah, hard. Yeah, if you need to do five reps at an eight and you've got seven <laughs> people around you, you've picked the wrong weight. <laughs> I'm like, you should be able to do this with two people tops. Yeah. Pro maybe one, maybe it's not ideal, but mm. like as long as you know how to do it. But fuck me, I just see people with like a whole gang. And I'm like, that was an RP6 set. I'm like, I appreciate that you're being safe, yeah. but you have safeties. Yeah. You, you shouldn't need all these people okay. to waste their day on you. <laughs> There's me, just I never get a spot. I actually have no one spot me ever. I, the only people I let so spot me is you and Stevie. Just, why? Because I hate, especially squatting, uh, just, <laughs> just stay away from me. Like. Oh, okay so anyway the next no, one I know, like you will only step in when absolutely necessary to help whereas it's just people that stand so close to you and it's like and you don't know if you can trust them yeah because everyone, good spotting like you have to be relatively close yeah but if you don't know and you fucking nudge me forward or something i've had i had a guy oh this is like eight years ago i held grudges i was excuse me still, I was, over it. <laughs> still definitely not over it so i was squatting i have a relatively tucked elbow position and he spotted me by grabbing my elbows and lifting them up so the bar went over my head and he threw me forward into the rack i remember being like well i didn't expect to fail it and i didn't expect it to fail it like that <laughs> that was so new and he was like i tried to help you with that and i was like i'm aware that's why i failed <laughs> He meant well. We handled it nicely. I've asked. This is when I, this is the moment I stopped asking people to back squat me. It's when I asked this guy to back squat me. He went like this. <laughs> Fuck. And I was like, we're not doing that. I'm like, what is going on? This guy's going to do one of three things. He's going to sumo wrestle me, or he's about to take heroin. <laughs> Go. I'm like, do these pre to <laughs> spot me. I was like, that's it, never that's again. Intimidating as fuck yeah, as well. Like, I'm like, you're too hyped to spot. Yeah. Like the person spotting, I want you. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got this full volume while driving, just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had what was the one? So this is one like, okay, fashion choices. Because they said, this is Savannah, by the way. This is all anonymous except for this, because <laughs> She went fucking haywire in here, and there's some horrible. Okay. I have two that are at you, by the way. Not at you, at things happen that happen to you, and I'm like, I won't bring those. Socks! Up. Deadlift socks! No, one is a name. 
<laughs> you have the same. We might touch on it. Um, one is uh, Nike Tech tracksuit in the gym. I don't know what that is, but I'll say full tracksuit. Full tracksuit, yeah. It's dangerous, right? Because it, full tracksuit, you're immediately, I guarantee you're thinking of a man. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So a man in a full matching outfit, we're like, ugh. But a woman in a full matching gym I shop or something matching. happening would be like, empowerment. Like, you do you. God, you look so fire right now. Exactly. You but a dude does it and we're like, go home. <laughs> Why does the dude get the rough head? Where I'm like, okay, it just, it's just not good, dude. You tried thinking less about what you're wearing. <laughs> a girl that's like sorted an outfit and we're like, empowerment, damn right, you worked for that, fucking awesome. Dude t- puts time into an outfit and we're like, well, you did it wrong. So, <laughs> <laughs> so next time, don't bother. I was, there are certain things, like I have two that people haven't said within outfits of jeans in the gym. Yeah. Are you replying to people? No, I'm searching Nike Tech. Oh, track like, suit, just so we get a visual. But je- jeans in the gym and Timberland boots, where I'm like, I don't know what you are doing in the gym except yeah. for caving people's heads in to need to wear those on your feet. Yes. Have you? I, I, I have a pair of Timberland boots, and I would never step foot I in these. I bet they'd feel you, great to squat in though, because you yeah. don't go in fucking anywhere. No, nowhere. Like that is and rooted you're to the solid. floor. solid. Like even when you walk, it hurts a bit because they're and so you can solid. Go straight from that to the construction site, <laughs> and then you can finish work. <laughs> Okay. On that topic, turning up with paint all over your clothes. So there's going to be a guy listening to this being like, I am a painter though. And I'll be like, well, get pack enough, just pack one t-shirt. Just get changed. Because I respect that you've probably got a busy lifestyle. Yeah. But I'll also tell you, it takes less time than it took you to urinate when you got in here <laughs> to change that fucking top. Yeah. And also, all that tells me is that you've been sweating in that all day. And yeah. you're now going to release all of those nasty smells into the gym. <laughs> Because I think there's, like, don't be wrong, there are gyms where it's just a fucking sweat box and it's disgusting. Yeah. But most of us, like, we're training, we're going to be disgusting, but we came in decently. So you don't have to wipe up as we enter the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Camera visual. If you're not watching the video, you're not going to know. But, like, that yeah. dude will be 16 years old. Yeah. He's a fuck boy, and mm. he deserves the grief he's getting in this chat. Yeah. <laughs> where I'm like, and he yeah. only listens to H and RD. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Ministry of Sound CDs in his car. <laughs> That's a ick. Yeah. Minister of Sound CD comes on and it's the only CD in the car and you're like, how many times have you it's listened Ikea to this? It's and it's modded out. <laughs> it sounds like a hairdryer up the road that's really angry and you're like, this fucking guy has got a game. And he's got one tinted window because he couldn't do it himself. <laughs> yeah. uh, powerlifting specific. Ne- oh no, it's your, it's your go. Oh, oh, okay, wait. okay. Oh God, the pressure. Um, oh, so many. Oh, when you can out-squat them as okay. a girl. Yeah, I was going to say, it depends which way around, right? Yeah. I will say, so like, absolutely fair. Mm. Unless you're like one of the really, really elite no. girls. I'm like, you're cutting out so many men. Because imagine you took um, Listus. Mm. She's got like a 240 squat. I'm like, she has squats me? I mean, I don't want to date she, her. Yeah, but she <laughs> has reached a new pool of men. Okay, why is some of the British... The bits, roster! The pool, she's within the pool. Cool whip. <laughs> The roster, the roster of men. The roster is the people she has online already that she has. So she's got like, what, 10 men on the side? Yeah, they go. The roster gets cleared. I hope she's just doesn't listen to this. Level. You think she's a whore? <laughs> <laughs> if someone's listening to this and doesn't find it funny, they're uh, like, they laughed for too long at every yeah. joke. I'm like, our jokes were hilarious. Yeah. Enjoy the episode or don't. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get on board or leave. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, because well, what's your top end squat right now? One was it in comp? A one six five. I just let you brag on your levels. Um, <laughs> so the dude has to be able to squat at least one seventy, otherwise he's a nick. Yeah. Oh, how much more? I just want you to have more dots. More dots. Yeah, that's ideally better dots than me. That was an L bit better. <laughs> <laughs> just better <bladder> dots. <laughs> I do think like. There is something to be said, like, once you're a gym person, if you're going to date a gym person, because mm. I used to say... Oh, I if you're don't... not a powerlifter, I couldn't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, Dude just turns up from yeah, his yeah, work yeah. in accounting if and you're, you're like, power lift me. And he's like, oh, just leave me alone. <laughs> and yeah. like, if you're doing another sport, CrossFit, whatever, um, <laughs> then fair enough, do your own thing. But I do think if you're <laughs> a... Don't come near <laughs> If you're a CrossFit, just leave me alone. Um, but I do think if you're in the same sport, mm. you just you have an appreciation for like, I, I definitely work harder than you. Yeah. That's not nice. Yeah. <laughs> Weak men. Um, okay, knee sleeves while benching. Oh, I do that. Do you? Only because I have squats and then bench and then leg press. 
So I actually have come across this issue and I've decided to be a decent human being and take them off. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> because I just cannot be bothered. And when you're in the middle of your... So the legitimate reason is when you're in the middle of training, your knee sleeves at the peak smell. <laughs> So if reason. you take them off, you're going to be smelling out the whole gym. If you keep them on, that smell is locked in there, and then just take them off before you leave. Okay, so the real reason is because <laughs> they're hard to get back on after you sweated in them. You're just like, no, but the I don't smell. want to smell the gym out. I'm not that person. Oh, no, you feel I care about mate. people that are in the gym. <laughs> also, I wash my knee sleeves every two weeks. Do you? Yeah. So I'm a good person. I don't do that. No. Well, you say it like you knew that, all right? That's weird. You're like, I know, I'm, I'm saying it like most so people don't. I've lifted out for you once, and you're like, this guy. <laughs> If you ever, right, here's the worst, yeah. is someone goes to give you a lift out, they've just finished squatting, they've taken off their knee sleeves, and they've got that fresh knee sleeve smell on their <laughs> knees, and they go to the and you're like, I will fail this because I'm now blind. <laughs> I got the fumes coming off of you. Hey, if you could just lift out and then fuck off as fast as you can. Oh my God, yes. That is the worst. That is the worst. That moment when you've asked somebody to give you a hand out, and then you're just like... Oh my god. I've changed my mind. I've Actually, changed. I'm quite happy failing yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me be, please. Um, oh, there's so many here. Um, I've got purposely throwing the bar down so people can hear you're lifting big weight. Purposely throwing it down all the way up. Again, I will be forgiving of some people mm. all the way up until the absolute top single, but anything below that, why are you throwing down your warm ups? Yeah. Or I'm like, that's it's 70 then. kilos. <laughs> You're okay. <sighs> like, I'm glad you could throw it because you could throw it yeah. in the fucking air, mate. Like, it's not heavy enough. Calm down. Nobody cares. I think there's a bit of it where it's like, I love powerlifting and I appreciate the work people put in, but there's a time where I think they get out of their box where I'm like, calm down. What is the one you've just found you're looking Sorry. about? <laughs> I've got um, a, like, Typically bodybuilder style train, like peeps up somebody who trains like a bodybuilder. A bodybuilder. A bodybuilder. <laughs> telling you that you have one more rep in you when you're doing like an RPE, it's like seven lift. I got really similar, which is uh, when they tell you to go heavier because they don't understand programming. Yeah. <sighs> oh God, There's, that has happened to me. Really? I've been, I was squat, I poor squat one, four, two, double. And somebody was like to you me. You do that to flex. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and they were like, and another one. God, you got another one. And I was like, no, I haven't. Is it written in my program? Because I haven't. I find these people so empowering. <laughs> I was just like, A, it's nice to be told because yeah. it was supposed to be an RP like six. If I didn't have another one, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, literally. Thank but you. also like, this guy knows he doesn't know about programming. Yeah. He's so confidently shouts it across the room. Yeah. I'm like, I want to be like you. <laughs> I yeah. want the confidence of knowing I know nothing, but <laughs> shout it at people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's what coaching is. Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. oh. But I will say I have a lot of my lifters, and more often females, because I'll be honest, I haven't had this, I think, ever. Really? I, I, yeah. Most, I have headphones in most of the time, but also, like, I'll make enough of a fuss that I'm angry about my set <laughs> that they'll probably leave me alone. But I've never had someone come up to me, but I know loads of my female clients specifically have been like, someone came up to me and they told me to go for one more, or one guy wouldn't help her rack it because he was like, no, you've got another one on bench. And I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? Take it off, mate! <laughs> Fail it, die here. <laughs> like, let them up, we fucking sadist. Yeah, that's got to be a big hit. Yeah, that's, no. I'm fractionally into this. Um, when she forgets her dead of socks. <laughs> At you, mate. <laughs> hey, it made for a story, and I had Oh, yeah, because we didn't rage. have enough stories from yeah. that day. We were like, let's just throw more of this. <laughs> How about we have another one? <laughs> I'm trying to think if actually anything within... So the per I think not bringing deadlift socks isn't that big a deal. It's the, so people who change outfit for every single lift, mm. I don't know where I stand on it. I don't mind if you've gone short socks, short socks, deadlift socks. Mm -hmm. What I don't like is deadlift socks, deadlift socks, deadlift socks. When people yeah. change, I'm like, you didn't need deadlift socks for those yeah. first two lifts. Why are you, the people, right, if you're squatting with your feet, real passionate socks, about this. Just realise I hate something. <laughs> uh, one of my lifters does this. I think a couple of them probably does. So <laughs> fuck you guys. So they'll have deadlift socks on, pulled up to their knee for squats. And I'm like, why? <laughs> like, if, Did they get their sleeves on with BDFPA, it? BDFPA, no knee sleeves. 
Yep, I thought the saving grace too, which is why I staggered and then went, yeah. actually, no, what yeah. the fuck are you playing at? No. You're like, is it more secure? Do you just Maybe feel... they just didn't want to forget them. They were scarred from my journey. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's my world. Yeah, and, and you're living in it. <laughs> I wonder if it's if I can get my socks high enough, I won't resent the fact I haven't got any sleeves on. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, if I'm Maybe I can just knee, feel the compression. <laughs> <laughs> just really tight socks. <laughs> I'm buying child socks. <laughs> I would do. There's actually socks from the child that uh, Cleo killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to follow up immediately with your trauma with when your coach calls you the wrong name. <laughs> I mean, this isn't your trauma, but also, does that happen to people? If your coach did it, if I messaged you, you know what? Shit, I've done this. I've sent a client a full voice note in yeah. reply to their check-in and I realised I sent it to the wrong person. Where it was Sarah, uh, Sarah Watson, not Sarah... Oh, I've forgotten your last name if you're watching this. R I'm really Ralston, sorry. Ralston. It's Ralston. Yeah. I was going to is it Ra... See, this is, it's worth pronouncing it <laughs> We don't it know any of you. I should have um, left this at R. <laughs> but um, I'm so bad with surnames. I know fur name, the first names. But I saw <laughs> fur names. Fur names. You know, their fur baby name. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'll see the name and I started recording. And I remember sending it yeah. and being like, and asking questions. Mm. But like, I thought it was going really well. Why didn't you mention I X, Y, literally, and Z? I literally did this. I was going through check-ins last week. And I recorded a check-in. I have two girls with the same name. Thinking it was the other one. Exactly and as that. I was reading through it, I was like this doesn't make any sense. Like, like, what are you talking about? And at the end, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to re-record that because I like, so was not well. talking about the same person. And obviously as well, because it's information where it doesn't line up, you talk for longer. Yeah, because you're like you're, explaining things I'm and you're so going surprised. well. Like, we were doing well here, yeah. you're doing good. Like, let's correct that. And then you're like, oh, it's not you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh. <laughs> and then when you get to the other voice, you're like, right, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> so... Sort your shit out. But I, I did a great week. I honestly... <laughs> None of this has happened. Yeah. I did say the wrong voice note. I deleted it immediately. Everyone got lovely voice notes. Leave me yeah, alone. Yeah, nobody knew. It was just my own head. I just want you to know the one I'm not going to say is that I got that one. <laughs> so, Joseph. Um... <laughs> I'll say Joseph. <laughs> All right, you're up. Um, I've got... Oh, this is quite niche. People that record and share your PB before you do. I fully agree. I hate that. Because you did something on the weekend I really liked, which was yeah. Amelia hit her deadlift yes. and you full censored the video. Yeah, it's not my lift to share. Yeah. Like, that is, that is, like, if they've posted it, you go ahead, do whatever you want, it's online. Yeah. But if they have not posted it yet, let that person share their win because it's not yours. Is it either virtue signaling, signaling or mm. attention seeking? Is it... Both. I want to be the person that gets shared posting this. Yeah. Because I think it's normal. And better. I want, oh, it, like, wow, my God, this is amazing. Like, all the attention comes through, through you, you to you them. To them. To be the middleman for Yeah. It. And it's like, just let them have their win. And I don't think, because there'll be someone being like, oh, but what if they don't? You know. Like, everyone knows that you're sharing their big mm. PB and they haven't put it up anywhere yeah. yet. I'm like, let them have their moment. Yeah. I mean, if it's just a fucking lift and they're just there squatting a warm up. Yeah, yeah, then nobody cares. But if it's like a if it's like a proper baby, Some people care about my but wants. also Amelia, um, if you're not going to post your lifts, tell us. Then everyone's going to be like, post your lift, or we will. Like you look at the stuff that she posts. Normally, it will have some sort of caveat that says Callum Rage quit if I won't if yeah. I don't post this. Yeah. But I've literally said to her, she pulled the 180 for three. Yeah. And then she was like, I'm not going to post it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I bored your shit. Um, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, post the lift. And she's like, oh, I don't really know. And I was like, post the fucking lift. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, wow, I got so many more comments. I didn't realize people would be that interested. I was like, hey, how strong are you? You are, are so strong. She's so annoyingly strong. You're so strong. <laughs> she's going to listen. I know she'll probably listen to this, yeah. but like, I do love you. We, but also, we do love you. Get your shit together. Yeah. I went um, to my brother yes, earlier. I was like, did you see my deadlift? He was like, uh, did you see Amelia's? It's not impressive. I was like, yep, fine. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's a level of brutal I'm not prepared for. <laughs> There's nothing worse than sharing your PB on a day that everyone's happy about something else. We're yeah. like, okay, cool. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> it was fine. I'll hit 200 later. Uh, one that I think I can't speak to fully, but I have strong opinions on, because that's what I do. Mm. Strong for a girl. Yeah. Or strong for, you're strong for your height. You're strong for your weight. No, no, I'm just strong. I have so many... So... I'm going to make it about me first, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we'll go back to the point. You're strong for a little man. <laughs> You're strong for your weight, or strong... No one said little man, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do get that too. But I do get like, oh, you're really strong for your weight. And I'm like, I... Right. <laughs> I would, in most competitions, I'll place 
regardless of weight class. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. And we're like, oh, you're strong for your size. I'm like, strong I'm, full stop. I'm like the dude talking to me is a hundred kilo, six foot and weaker than me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like I'm strong for you. <laughs> I should have gone the other way. You're weak for your size. <laughs> Maybe that's fucking, the response. How cutting would that be? Oh. You're like, you're pretty weak for your height. <laughs> <laughs> you're strong for a girl. You're weak for a guy. <laughs> because it was the other day I was in the gym and a guy made a comment and I was like, I know where you're coming from and where you're coming from is a piece of shit. And it was the, all these women making me feel like I need to step my game up. And I was like, they're just strong, dude. Like, don't yeah. measure yourself by the fact yeah. you have a penis. They're just stronger than you. Mm. And then also, you told him, you were like, and also some of these women are like the strongest in Britain. And then it almost made him feel better because he yeah. was like, okay, they're like top whatever percent. They're it's allowed okay. to be stronger it's than like me. It's like justified. It was like, no, no, no. That shouldn't be. I People apologize. should just be allowed to be strong. I've invalidated your weakness. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I meant to say is you're still bad at this. Yeah. And they're yeah. just strong. <laughs> Exactly. Uh. Okay, so I've got... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was my one. Your one. Um, I've got training in a singlet when you're nowhere near a comp. I fully agree with this. Like, it feels weird. That's... It's like peacocking for a... Yeah. Like, are you trying to make sure everyone knows you're a powerlifter? I hate it when I train in my singlet. I'm like, nobody look at me. <laughs> I'm I in do... a baby crow. <laughs> like, I think there's a distance from... Okay, so what's the distance from comp? Because I would almost accept up to 12 weeks. I was gonna say single digits. So days. <laughs> no, no. Three days out, try it on. Like, Nine, like when you're under ten. The only thing I accept is like so because obviously you're putting it on then for singles. Yeah. And like probably if you program half decently, <laughs> that you're probably running singles or top sets that are very very relevant. Mm. You might have wanted to practice it a little further out. I'll accept eight weeks. Yeah. Past that. If you're in prep, go for it. Yes. You, got to say you're in prep yeah if it says off season and i see singlet i'm like buy new clothes <laughs> yeah stop wearing the one outfit <laughs> <laughs> but i will also say which is fucked in powerlifting how much is a singlet nowadays i don't compete much do you know <laughs> no, like, between 50 and 80 pounds is that a good guess this sounds like have you seen the ricky gervais thing where he's like <laughs> they're saying he doesn't know the cost of milk anymore it's like I don't, a thousand pounds just so rich there's no idea yeah. like, what is it like a thousand fifteen hundred for a singlet <laughs> if it's like i say it's not 80 quid for a singlet yeah. you wear it once some people once ever yeah i get you might be getting more out of it than the rest of us but if you turn up in a tatty singlet my yeah, assumption like is threadbare <laughs> i'm like wow, you've competed for years. Nope, that was just prep. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, man, you rinsed that thing. Yeah, literally. But I will say everyone turned up in a brand new singlet is an equal ick for me. Yeah. I'm like, that feels a bit out the packet. It's got a seam on it still. Not a seam. <laughs> they should all have seams. It's creases. 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 It's got, they've got seams on their singlet. Oh, I sound like I'm doing the peasant thing again. I'm like, you've got seams on yours? Buy a better singlet. Uh, <laughs> so <ick>. many icks. <laughs> Uh, what have you got? When I don't know if this is a full ick because I will excuse the fact that people don't know when they don't get that an arch is useful on bench. Yes. But when they argue you down. Yeah. Like literally being like flatten out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an ironing board. I get that you don't get it, and I get that extreme arching is this whole other thing. Like whatever you feel on it, <laughs> but just leave me alone. Yeah. I had a dude come up to me and like, oh, how much do you think I could bench if I arch like you? And I was like, probably very same <laughs> amount to what you do now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to change it overnight. Maybe even less because, you know, <laughs> you're, you're changing your technique. <laughs> I, I think I'd just benched like 140 to 6. That was very intentionally a flex. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was, it felt like he was being like, I reckon I could do that if I arched. And I was just like, your bench is like 60 kilos. <laughs> yeah. I respect you on your journey, but fuck off, man. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> you're lying to yourself and me, and I know you're lying. Uh, I've got one that is at me, so fuck you. <laughs> Smiling when squatting. Do you smile? Oh, what, like just in general? <laughs> no. Just halfway up. I love the halfway up smile. The halfway up, when you're hitting a lift. You're making a choice because if you get red lighted. Oh, yeah, then you're fucked. Because it's no better, like it is so good when someone. <laughs> <laughs> Finishes a lift and they're like, yes, three red lights, and the crowd go, oh, oh I love that moment because that's a sweet moment that you yeah. indulge in. You're like, that hurt, but god, that felt good because it is as well. Like, it depends on the person, mm. but if they're a dick and they celebrate fucking hard, mm. 
I won't lie. <laughs> like, I love that moment. Yeah. And I'll sit there and be like, can we replay that one? <laughs> You get the whole How thing many in. cameras film that? Because we could get a different Can angles. I pay for their white lights media package and get that in it? Yeah. I just want the slow mo. Yes. Oh, and the and then like... ding ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so much shit. I'm so fucking excited for it. Uh, um, I think this is this is at me because it literally says you. <laughs> but that weird special squat bar that you use sometimes. Is that an Aleco bar? I just want to clarify, this person is my client. Get your shit together. <laughs> Do they train at the gym? The They're dream? trained at the gym. Oh, right. I'm actually really disappointed. That is an ick. Um, <laughs> Reply and be like... <laughs> I'm going to message them and be like... Grow up. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I've got... Just lost the client. Um, <laughs> uh, when people will say RP 6.5 when it was already at 9. <laughs> it was RP 6.5. Oh, that's Miss Groove 5. Yeah, again. yeah. Anything... Right. I do have a... If you're... When you start rating intentionally anything sub six, mm. be real careful mm. because sub six is sub six. Yeah. And if you're like, it's a 1.5 <laughs> or like it's a zero or I've seen someone put like a minus three <laughs> on my programs and I'm like, just say a sub six. Like, <laughs> I don't need this in my life. Yeah. That's why you've changed the programs. So you can't go below, below yeah, 5.5. It just stops at five. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm like, I intentionally write and then someone types over it and I'm like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, one of the ones I've got here, which... I fully agree with them. We've already spoken about because we were mm. doing icks in general. I'm sorry, and one day I'll probably get some, but deadlift slippers. So slippers. So slippers. <laughs> slippers as a whole. It's like, I know that they are great, and I'd probably put them on and be like, fucking wow, especially since I've switched to sumo, I'd probably be like, these are incredible. These are needed. They look horrific. You remember being in primary school and they, everyone had those little plimsolls? You look like yeah. that guy. And it's Lucy has those. Lucy literally has Lucy plimp has soles. Plimp and I will say, every time I see them, I'm like, I'm glad that we're near comp because I'd get those out. I'd burn them and be like, lift barefoot. Fuck it. <laughs> I think I'd prefer it. But I do, yeah. I do think like deadlift slippers became a trend really fast. Mm. And then Notorious jumped on and then it was clout. So everyone fucking bought them. Mm. And no one knows why they're wearing them. They're just yeah. like, everyone wears these. Yeah. And you're, this must be the thing. I'm like, I've seen people in, like, what do you wear to deadlift in? Flats, like Converse. Blazers. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember back in the day when it was Converse or the CrossFit TR lights, which was like the big shoe for yeah. it. And everyone got plimp soles and now they think they're really fucking cool. And I'm like, I, you look ridiculous. Mm. I wear them for bench and deadlifts and I hate it. Yes. I'm like, it looks pathetic. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> What's better is plimp soles with deadlift socks because I know obviously usually plimp soles, <laughs> I should call them slippers, but they're plimp soles now. But when you wear them and you've got this big pulled big up sock, sock and then short shorts. <laughs> And the shoes cut you off like below the ankle. You look unstable <laughs> as a person, let alone the fucking foot. And I will say, yeah. I would say with a lot of my clients, yeah, get them because they're really good for your lifting. Yeah. I'll judge you <laughs> and I'll laugh I'll about hate it. Every second. I made Beck this. get some and he hates it. <laughs> and but every time I. <laughs> the, the, sho <laughs> the shoes he wore before were like these broken down Primark plimp soles. And I was just like, they're disgusting. I would tell you they're not comp legal because I think they might have an STI. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. The um, caveat to that is walking around within them. If you're wearing them for the specific lift, yeah. be my guest. We'll all judge you, but be my guest. <laughs> if you're walking around the gym in them. <laughs> it's, it's literally, as soon as it becomes a movement that's irrelevant, where it's like, okay, bench, I get it. They help a lot. Deadlift, they, I get it. And if it's squat, if you're the person that squats in those, fine. Yeah. Like that, some people actually really like it. But. When you're on a lap pull down or doing a bicep curl <laughs> in slippers, I'm like, did you forget your dressing gown? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my God. <laughs> this is not, a, sorry, I don't know if this is a thing. Dry scooping protein. Who dry scoops protein? Creatine, fine. fine. Pre-workout, fine. Protein, protein is the scoop is so big. <laughs> that becomes like a cookie dough ball in your mouth. I'll try it. That's oh, <laughs> join us for the next podcast where <laughs> we we're just sat there like cinnamon <laughs> challenging protein. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, you go. That last sounds like you're gonna cry. Oh, this is relevant to my gym. Yeah. <laughs> All of you. People using the one bench in the gym to do hip thrust and refusing to let me do my bench sets. T B wrote that. No. He literally sent me a video this he morning. Sent me video. He sent me the same video. He's he sends it right. So there's another ick. Yeah. And you send, send something direct to multiple people and you're like, I'm not special it. and I know it. Yeah. 
Jack's in it because he did exactly the same thing. <sighs> and I just applied going, yay. <laughs> I just put a laughing face because I was like, I get it, but I also don't know what to say. Yeah. If I put three laughing faces, I didn't know what to say. So that is annoying because we have one comp bench. Yeah. In the strength and conditioning, powerlifting, whatever you want to say, room. And there are two other benches and there are multiple other like benches that you can hit thrust from and blocks you can hit thrust from. Mm. Please, for the love of Christ, I, un I understand that you don't know it's a comp bench. Isn't there a glute drive machine there as yeah. well? Yeah. Just fucking use Just that. Use it. Get off the bench. Literally. And I'll also say, so that bench is an ick from the gym, from my perspective, where I'm like, yeah. it's strength shop, so it's 250 quid. It's the mm -hmm. worst, that was 500, I can't remember. It's the worst bench you mm -hmm. can get, like it's baseline. It's the most rickety fucked bench. It's got plates under Underneath it everywhere. It. The floor's uneven. It's so broken. Mm -hmm. And people are like, I'm going to hip thrust on that. I'm like, I'd rather hip thrust on like the homeless guy outside. <laughs> like, yeah. why? Oh, yeah, why? It's so bad. Yeah. So if I straddle you whilst you're hip thrusting, it's on you. <laughs> Are you benching? <laughs> oh, that side. I thought top down, no, no, sitting no. lap dancing this person hit the rest of the like, that's unhelpful for everyone. <laughs> but it proves the point. Wait till I find out Clea's been like kicked out of her gym for <laughs> lap dancing on people. Uh, um, okay, so ridiculous setups before a lift, like obsessively shaking your whole body before a deadlift. I'm trying to think what I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> There's this vibrating <laughs> rotate. Like, Somebody's behind you like. <laughs> I have quite a long setup for squats, bench and deadlift, mm. but they're all very intentional movements. I don't mm. have any, like Nathan, if you're listening to this and you're not, your windmill shit was one of the most annoying ones. <laughs> but those things where it's like, it doesn't contribute to the yeah. lift. If you're doing something that um, contributes, where it's like, mm. you know, like Rachel's with like big heavy breath yeah, and pull and then down the... hard. I'm like, it looks dramatic, but I know it holds her brace really well, mm -hmm. fair enough. If you're doing something unrelated to the lift, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. And I get the whole, like, routine of, like, do your routine, get into the zone, but also chill the fuck out. <laughs> like, <laughs> breathe. Breathe. Just bre Most people are like, just take a good breath, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just asking clients. <laughs> um, I have quite a few more. All the gear and no idea. I have strong opinions on this. Yeah. So I think there should be... Oh, actually, I think people will hate A qualifying this. total for... Exactly, I was going to say. <laughs> for, for certain equipment. equipment yeah. Where I'll be like, if you're... So there was a person, and now everyone's on their journey. Mm -hmm. I genuinely mean that. I sound like I'm full of shit because I'm going to follow this up in a really horrible way. <laughs> but I saw a person wearing SPD belt, tight... Not Titan. What are the knee sleeves? Not the A7 ones, but the really fucking heavy duty, the first... Is it Titan? It is Titan, is it? The blue and red... Sure, whatever. Okay. They're really heavy duty, like yeah, they're made yeah, from yeah. cement. Those knee sleeves, <laughs> yeah. the SPD belt, SPD wrist straps, full singlet on, not near comp, mm. squatting 45 kilos with three spotters. And I was like, you literally, the cost of your equipment costs more than the amount of weight you're squatting. Okay. Like I could buy the bar and the plates for the amount of kit you're wearing. Yeah. That's fucking insane. That's insane. Like, for, like if you're squatting 45 kilos, you're early days, mm. fair enough. Buy a fucking strength shot belt and nothing else. Yeah. Your wrists aren't worried about the load of the 40 kilos on your wrist. You'll be fine. Yeah. I just and think also, it's crazy. And also, learn to lift without depending on that equipment. Mm. Like, obviously, the equipment aids everything. Belts aid your brace, whatever. But there's a baseline of knowledge and a baseline of skill that you need mm. before going straight into it with all that it's equipment. Like GPP, being able to move, like just know how to move yeah. before throwing kit on. Like, do you know how to stack your wrist? Do you know how to do that? Mm. Don't wrap it with a wrap if you've no idea what you're doing. You're just trying to rely on that doing the movement for yeah. you. Same thing on knee sleeve. Do you know how to pin your knees? Because if you're just throwing it on and being like, this will do the work, I'm like, yeah. fuck me. Nope. <laughs> and I literally was like, Again, with respect, there's a point where those knee sleeves are doing that whole squat. Yeah. Where I'm like, they put out a lot of force. Mm. Someone's going to hate this. <laughs> yeah, I'm so and, sorry, but change. And if you disagree with me, feel free to message me and we'll discuss it when I block you. <laughs> um, oh, I've got so many more, Jesus. I've got, this is a similar vibe, the 30 second power lifter set, off, set up, which gives transformer vibes. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good. Yeah. I quite like that. Yeah. Optimus Prime, change in two, <laughs> <Just screw deadlift. laughs> Uh... I don't know what this one means, and I know this is from someone who has good icks, mm. but I do this because my coach told me. I'm going to say... You're doing something... Are you saying, like, someone doing something insane? Some, like, somebody, somebody doing something they don't know 
why oh. they don't know the reason behind it i'm just wow. doing it because my coach know? told me yeah the, the, so they're not knowing but that's the yeah. coach ick right yeah. like my ick for a coach being like just do what i said yeah. rate sent one which is trust the process and it is this carried down because <laughs> you end up with a lifter being like i'm doing this why because they said so yeah i'm like yeah, but why mm. and then you go to the coach you're like why are they doing it i'm like because i didn't know to write <laughs> I'm like, because the other seven people, the other seven people that I coached do it, and they're okay. Because when I copy and pasted it, it didn't have a chance for copy, paste, and alter. <laughs> Just, programs had to be out by seven. I started at six. What do you want from me? <laughs> Fucking coach. I could do coaches. Yeah. Day, but I don't need to pick more fights. I've got lifting gloves. Ah, uh, that's a big ick. That is a big ick, and it's normally the middle-aged men. <laughs> it's gen my gender is the problem for most of these. Like, I feel for them, but it's what the fuck? It's so much easier to think about icks for men. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry, guys, but We're open is. to icks for women. <laughs> we tried this. So, just as an ex explanation as to how bad this situation is, we went online and found funny icks for men, and it was shit like getting out of the swimming pool with hair on your face, <laughs> yeah. which was hilarious, because it's not real. Or a man getting out the back of a two-door car. That was your one, it? So funny. A man being child locked in the back of the car <laughs> and then we were like right let's google good ones funny ones funny for ones women. women yeah just aggressive just men who had written the worst shit and i was yeah. like you just don't like women yes okay i like the fucking tangent i like the um the man being shown the back of his head and being spun around in the chair like that's the, being spun like, oh and sorry when well, he's getting his hair cut no, i didn't say that when he's getting his hair cut the cape goes on they pump the chair I was like, <laughs> it's just the <laughs> I, uh, I have always found that moment where they just grab right so no one ever explained to you as a kid like you know you didn't get taught taxes they also didn't teach me what the fuck the back of my head's meant to look like because they were like how's that and i'll be like it's a mirror and that is my head you didn't show me before, before. we started yeah. so i'm like is this better yeah. you could have done nothing i could have a mullet and be like that looks alright to me. <laughs> I guess that was the same as always. That TikTok where it's like, how the back of my hair looks, none of my business. <laughs> none of my business. I don't associate with that. Next episode, should we do a none of my business? Yes. I have Things wrote loads of these. I've got loads as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have just a series of cues, which is shouting up when someone's deadlifting. I get that we don't know what to say, mm. but I will say it's just a general, like, we know. Like, yes. when you're lifting and someone's like up, you're like, I wondered why I wasn't moving. <laughs> do you know I've never thought about it like that. <laughs> Pushing it into the floor. They shout up and you're like, fuck, fuck. that's so much easier. <laughs> My coach never told me. Uh, hips. I have hips as well. Yeah. Hips is just like, first of all, it depends when. And also, what do you think they're doing? I swear I'm the only coach that on the platform will shout the word tall. Yeah. Because it'll be someone who I can tell is about to lean back hard and end up ramping. Yeah. And I'll just shout tall. Everyone else is shouting hips. I'm like, can you fucking knock? Because <laughs> you're queuing them the problem. Yeah, yeah. People shouting cues. That Fail. Are... <laughs> to be fair, great tactic for yeah. other coaches. Yeah. Just shouting the Down. wrong cues. <laughs> Everyone's shouting up. And you're just like, Down. Lower. Fail it. <laughs> Throw it at the floor. Pause. <laughs> um, I will, uh, the one here. So, now this is... Sadly, one of my lifters has said this, okay. and so I'm going to argue with him. Um, and the good take thing a is, probably not listen. A minute silence <laughs> for the death that's about to incur, because he said sumo and equipped. So just look. If you're bad at deadlifting, just say it. Yeah. Because, because I genuinely think anyone who has grief with sumo, I have a caveat as mm -hmm. to where my grief with sumo sits. But I will say that. If you think sumo is cheating, you're shit at it. Mm -hmm. And if you think sumo is cheating, you've never tried it. Yeah. Like, it's so much technically harder. I currently pull sumo. I yeah. hate it so much. I love it, but there's so much to think about. Oh, I love the movement. I'm so bad at it. Yeah. Where I'm like trying to pull the slack early, trying to build pressure, mm. being patient off the floor. Being patient off the floor is just something that is like belittling every single time. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to do this RP6 lift. You might not though. <laughs> <laughs> you might not for three seconds. Yeah. And for those three seconds, you have to doubt if you can, being like, I'm building pressure. <laughs> Am I building pressure or failing slowly? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's happening. That bit is fear. That is fear straight You've fear. never faced fear in the face like that <laughs> in your whole life as the moment of being like, I think I'm feeling a warmer. Oh no, it's just, okay. Oh God. Every <laughs> chair was a Monday. But the other, um, the caveat I have, my only form of ick with sumo is that I genuinely believe that records should say which lift. Yeah, because I, I agree. Just because I want to know. Because yeah. If, so Jessica Bittner, if she, she's uh, best all-time deadlift for a woman, mm -hmm. is now Amanda Lawrence. She mm -hmm. pulled whatever it was afterwards. There's 261, I think she pulled 267. I can't yeah. remember if I'm honest. But 
I just record it with Sue Unconventional. Yeah. Not because I think it takes away from it, because I'm like, I would like to know who's got the biggest conventional of all time. Yeah. Because if someone hits the biggest Sue, I'm like, sick. What was the conventional? Because they're different and yeah. they are different. And also it's relevant to if you pull sumo or if you pull lift, if you pull conventional. Like mm. if I was a sumo lifter, I'd be like, right, what's the biggest sumo deadlift? Yeah. If I, it, it doesn't mean as much to the individual lifters if the record's yeah. held by the opposite lift, like the other lift. I said this before and someone was like, oh, but what about high bar, low bar? Should you do it for that? And I was like, the problem is that they exist on so much of a spectrum mm. that they're this far apart. Yeah. Sumo and conventional is a world apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, you can tell it's fucking sumo <laughs> because your hands are in here. <laughs> yeah. Is it high bar? You've got thick I look at the hands and go, that's sumo. I look at the legs. I don't know. You've never seen, like, <laughs> to be fair, strong men boys have sumo stance conventional yeah. deadlifts. And I'm like, you did everything at once. <laughs> How did you cheat? <laughs> you cheated the yeah, cheating lift. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. How to break the game. Uh, I have one last one. Uh, okay. No, but you can go before that. Okay, I've got somebody using, somebody's put, they've put chalk on and then use straps. <laughs> Did you put chalk on knowing you were going to use straps? Because if you put chalk on and be like, I have to go for straps now, <laughs> then you look like you failed. Yeah. But fair enough. If you put chalk, oh, chalk on the straps, I'm like, how bad are your straps? Yeah, literally. How bad are you pulling with these? I've seen people like lacing it with chalk and I'm like, just pull with chalk or pull with the strap. You don't need more chalk on it. And I'll always, right. <laughs> oh god the rage kicks in so hard yes. the one thing i fucking hate is people who chalk the bar where i'm like yeah. do you understand what knurling is mm. you are putting you're chalk. filling in the gap you're literally yeah. you are like the guy that plasters walls for my fucking barbell I'm like, yeah. smooth finish now i can't fucking grip it <laughs> stop being that person yeah. like do you know why they scrub mm -hmm. the bar at platforms is so that you can get that shit out and people will fill it in and be like grippier i'm like I hate you. Ah! I hope it falls off your back. Yeah. And onto the child. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too. Uh, the one I will have, because this is, um, what is the word? Controversial. Okay. Because it's said by a woman. Okay. Which makes me feel safer to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Peeing on the platform as a source of pride. Ladies, sort it out. That's potentially serious injury. Yeah. So I will say, if you pee while deadlifting, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Like, don't freak out. Brace is broken down. More, more often, it's just bad bracing, and you need to figure out that structure. Mm. If it's a Can I just say, it's happened to me, but not, I haven't, like, weed. Like, it's just like, it's just like a tiny bit of weed you in your like, you just like yourself. a tiny, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a tiny bit, and you're like, and it's like a little bloop and then it's done. It's not like a gush. Like, you haven't gone, well, I guess I'm having a wee now. So there's a few things within this. One, if you pee on the platform, you better hit that fucking list. Yeah, there 100%. is a no failure rating for these because if you <laughs> yeah. fail, you're just the person that pissed on the platform. That's not great. Um, two, nothing to be ashamed of. Like, no, don't not stand at on the platform all. and be, be embarrassed. I don't give a fuck. No. It's absolutely fine. Um, but three, like, do something about it in your training. Yeah, you can do pelvic floor exercises. Yeah. you can learn your bracing technique. You can fix your cat backed deadlift that is causing mm -hmm. the breakdown, that's putting the pressure and mm. causing you to pee. Yeah. But don't take pride in pissing on the platform. No. I haven't seen that in the way that I think she's saying that. I haven't mm. seen someone be like, pissed, fucking nailed that. <laughs> Woo! I'm like, I'm going to squat and shit myself. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's normal and you shouldn't be embarrassed about it, but there's a difference between not being embarrassed about it and then just accepting that it's the norm yeah yeah absolutely because it's not the norm i think that's the caveat being, yeah like of being... it's okay that it can happen yeah but don't accept that that's just what it what is it now is. do yeah. something about it yeah have you got any more you want to finish on i think that's it with that yeah that's good so that being general fitness and i think we could have done this for oh, substantially yeah. longer we <laughs> yeah. just lent into everyone else's ones um if you do watch to this point and you enjoyed this episode you're fucked up, um, <laughs> but I'm glad. And let us know because I think Cleo's happy to do more of these with Yeah, me. absolutely. We'll try to do some serious ones. No. Because someone's going to come on this episode and been like, updates to see how she got on. We literally didn't mention you. We just <laughs> no. chatted. Uh, so let us know. If you do watch this, please share it. Please let us know what you think. Please let me know if you'd like to do more or like what topics you'd like mm. us to cover. And uh, otherwise, I'll leave it there. Yeah. We'll go with you. If you just want shits and gigs, we're here. Tightly the episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>